How's it going? So, so Brent, you gonna start us off? Oh, uh, what well, I'm, uh, I'm doing this? Of course. Yeah, oh. I said I was, we do the this week. I, don't know, I was just joking. Oh, you bitch! Yeah, he kind of lied about that one, didn't you? Yeah. Hey, what do you want me to do? Alley intro? No. <laughs> All right. Welcome back to the Raising Eyebrows podcast. Joe and Brent are still here. Yo. Oh my goodness, I'm ready to just thrust myself into the Empire State Building. <laughs> wow, great intro, man. Yeah. Well, that's one way to introduce yourself. So, this week we are talking about conspiracy theories. Oh yeah. Heck. All right. Now hear me out. JFK killed JFK because JFK liked communism. Oh, JFK is a commie? <laughs> I don't know no, if we get No, 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 no. The clone of JFK is the commie, and JFK had Lee Lee Harvey Oswald, or whatever the heck his name is, to kill I think, clone I think JFK. Right. So the real JFK is still alive, but he abandoned his job because he hated it. But then the clone JFK was like, yo, communism isn't all that bad. So, boom, had him assassinated. Well, betrayal? <laughs> well, I wouldn't say it's betrayal, more or less the fact that his, his back clone uh, didn't do what he wanted it to do. So, had to cut her down. He had to like, get rid of the loose end there. Yep. See, you say that, but I have a different way of thinking about it. Oh, yeah? Cool. What's that? What's it so different? Yeah. Yeah, he's actually time traveler. Oh shit! All right, <laughs> all right. <laughs> but he's got that flux capacitor. Oh, shit. <laughs> There's two separate timelines where JFK lives, and then the world gets destroyed, and then where he doesn't live. And I, I mean, it still sucks. <laughs> Goddamn, the world still sucks. Because what happened is that JFK actually signed a petition to let uh, Mountain Dew become a superpower. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> Whoa, you better So chill. Mountain Dew took over everything. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Mountain Dew. All right, so, world. so let me get this straight. Uh, <laughs> JFK, the real JFK, <laughs> was just... A, a how called a flesh suit that Mountain Dew <laughs> was inside of, controlling you know our president, <laughs> and so Mountain Dew decided to clone JFK with, but he wasn't a flesh suit; he was an actual JFK. And the actual JFK <laughs> it decided on communism. So Mountain Dew flesh suit JFK hired Lee Harvey Oswald to kill commie JFK. Not, not see, and, and then JFK killed him. Mountain Dew. Him. He just like threw the gun at Lee Harvey Oswald and said, "You're it." Hey, Garrett. <laughs> hey, no sacrifice. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, that's how every great assassination occurs. Hey, you're it. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> yeah, as it turns out, as it turns out, uh, Mountain Dew flesh suit JFK actually killed Hitler. And then they got it. They got a Hitler's <laughs> corpse. It said, "Ha, oh, you're it." <laughs> and then, and then phased out of existence, Just disappeared into like the next parallel world <laughs> to kill himself, of course. But to kill, of course, he, had, he, uh. he went into the parallel. He went into a parallel universe where Flesh Suit KF JFK Mountain Dew Man was a kami and had to kill him and took over that world. Ooh, and communism. Communism. J- J- Flesh suit JFK hated communism. Did JFK <laughs> kill Stalin? Yes. Oh, damn. Can I get rid of the competition? Do you, do you think uh, people on Facebook, if we push this hard enough, 
people would actually start believing well, it. To be fair, people thought the world was going to end in 2012, so I suppose. <laughs> I mean, anything's possible at this point. I seen I seen a really a really great meme the other day that showed that hey, uh, it, was, it was the Mayans, and the one guy said, "Hey, we don't have enough room to fit anything past 2012." And then uh, the one, and then the emperor said, eh, "We'll just leave it." It's a funny joke. Many people think the world's going to end in 2012. <laughs> so so here here's the thing to extend the runtime of the podcast i'm going to just say a bunch of uh random conspiracy theories and you just explain if you believe in them or not right. okay, 9/11 so, job. So- Ooh, that's factual it was proven I remember freshman year. Max, <laughs> Max is in my freshman, my, my freshman history class. I remember when Mr. Baker had us do that project on how 9/11 was an inside job. What? <laughs> There's no way. No, I don't remember, you don't remember that. that. Oh my goodness! All right. No. I bet if you asked Lucas and Parker, they'd remember that. Yeah, I think like Mr. Maybe. Baker wiped your memory, so you wouldn't remember. <laughs> you forgot possibly. To wipe yeah. That fool. <laughs> that novice. <laughs> so, so flat Earth. Yeah or nay? Nay. Perhaps. What do you mean, perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> right, right, now hear me out, hear me out. Perhaps. The, the earth the earth is flat. How? <laughs> Simple. We live in a 2D world. <laughs> yeah, we live in a 2D world with RTX graphics, so everything looks 3D. Yeah, yeah. All right, no, but listen to this, though. Are you ready for, ready for this conspiracy theory? Yeah. The government is controlling our eyes, so we, we look- think so we see three D, but in actuality, it's all two D. Ooh, that 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 makes sense. That makes sense. My life is a two D platformer. <laughs> that that or or the government drones, aka birds, are projecting three D ism that they invented. Yeah, I wonder. Uh, government drones still a hot dog for me. <laughs> <laughs> kind of oh, salty. Yeah, that Disneyland government drone attacked me for some chips. Dude, what the frick? I'm suing the government. <laughs> yeah, fuck the government, dude. I'm suing the government. Yeah, but... they absolutely annihilated my chips for a moment. Bro, a moment. They're it's... barbecue chips, so fuck them. Bro. Yeah, the FBI agent was just kind of hungry that day, so they decided to take your chips. Yeah, they had to recharge his battery, so it doesn't yoink your chips. Yeah, damn. <laughs> Yeah, but why would a drone need sustenance? Why not? This is a bird drone, so... Yeah, it's a bird drone. I've seen a regular Maybe drone. They, they invent something that somehow converts the glucose into actual battery life. Yeah. Do they, yes. Do they have, like, Shrek 5 in Area 51? I wouldn't be surprised at anything at this point. <laughs> that is bonkers. That is bonkers. You know, Ice Age, Ice Age was a... Uh, a quintology, so I wouldn't be surprised if Shrek became a quintology. You know who <laughs> else is a quintology? <laughs> it's what I thought. It's what I fucking thought. What do you think I was gonna say? <laughs> Bill Cosby? Yes. Oh. All right. All right. Now hear me out. Rape doesn't exist. Um. I don't know what I'm yeah saying. Or nay. Depends. Um, I I mean, like logically, it it does exist. <laughs> People think it exists, but does it actually? All right, all right. I suppose I suppose it does indeed exist. Depends <laughs> how you define rape. Uh, sexual contact without consent. No, yeah. without that, that's like the exact definition. That is exactly. the exact same. Dude. They're gonna bend the definition. No. All right. All right. All right. Uh, <laughs> yay or nay? We live in a simulation. Yay. Yeah, I believe so because like sometimes there's wacky glitches. Dude, I found like what? Okay, like right, what? Right. So I took okay. One time, I fell down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I got up. I got up. And I felt no pain and no bruises whatsoever. But oh. I felt pain on the way down the stairs. Somebody forgot to update yeah. their simulation software. Yeah. So like, <laughs> so, like, I fell down the stairs, felt like I broke an arm, got up, and I felt fine. 
<laughs> I found this weird glitch. It was duplication glitch in IRL. <laughs> There's probably people that are like that. I wouldn't. I mean, I, I mean, I wouldn't doubt. I wouldn't doubt it. Okay. Okay. This isn't a conspiracy theory, but it kind of fits the whole oh, thing. Oh fuck! So, so you know how you when you die, yeah. you see like whatever you see. Yeah. What happens if that's just your mind making it believe? That's what it is. Oh yeah, like like how different religions work. Like yeah. Christians believe in there's one true God and that there's heaven, and then like people that are Islamic or not, I won't say Islamic, but people that believe in Buddhism, they go up there and they're like, "Whoa, this is th- these are a lot of gods here." Like the Greek gods, they die, and they're like, "Yo, there's more than one God here." Yo, and what's stuff. up, Zeus? <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> yeah. or, or you know what I think? I think I what? think that the different legends exist because they are brought over from different worlds. Ooh, multi-universe? Multi-universe of travel. Yeah. <laughs> Parallel universe theory? Yeah, actually, the, the gonna, U.S. is the only explain? country that exists, but anytime we go to a different country, we're just, like, crossing in between universes. <laughs> uh, the different countries are DLC packs. Facts, damn. <laughs> well, to be fair, you do have to pay to get to a different country, so I'm not surprised. You do have to pay, so it unless is. You're, a, unless it you're is a technically you just, like path. somehow glitch your way onto a ship, going there. Teleport. Make those Ender Pearl onto a ship. Goddamn. Oh my goodness. So, so I, uh, you, you know the book Pet Cemetery. Yeah. What would happen if you threw a piece of hamburger meat that in the grave? Um, I think. <laughs> let me think. <laughs> uh, all right. Now, what if what if the meat took on cow properties, but it was still meat? So, like, it was like a floating piece of meat that moved. <laughs> or no, because so there are a lot you... of people that think ground beef is like a mixture of a bunch of different animals. So, like, what if we get like a chimera or some shit? <laughs> oh my goodness! Or like, what about like, uh, what about? Oh, you ever seen that regular? You ever seen that regular show episode where they they go to Jim Bros Burritos and they have like the like the hundreds of different meats? Um, what is it? What if they, no, what if they threw that? that. What if they threw that bad boy at the pet cemetery. I don't know. Would it just become evil meat? Evil meat. Because it's got like like it would have ten percent got like it would have ten percent more fat than normal. I think it was like gorilla, <laughs> llama, alligator, snake, alpaca. What? Uh, what chicken, is... beef, uh, pork, uh, <laughs> kangaroo. Sounds friggin... like sounds like a vegan's worst nightmare. <laughs> I think a vegan's worst nightmare would probably be the pet cemetery. Yeah. <laughs> well, he had like a pet Venus flytrap, and it died, and you just like buried it there. Wait, when it just become a uh, normal Venus flytrap, just more snappier? Maybe, maybe, it'd be, maybe it'd get bigger. Ooh. I don't know. Like, it'd, like it'd grow. See, these are the questions. Maybe you would eat the corpses need... you buried there. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. We we need uh Stephen King on the podcast. Oh, yeah. He needs to answer these questions. No. <laughs> um. Oh shoot. Can right. him. So, in the, I'm pretty sure I only seen the movie. I've never read the book. But isn't isn't the pet cemetery like an Indian or a Native American burial ground? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. How did they bury their dead? Did they like bury their dead there and put a curse on it before they were eradicated, or were they always just like bringing back the dead? Uh, that's a like, good point. Like, and they just like find a spot that just so happens to bring back the dead. And they're like, "Oh, sick! That's cool." <laughs> Let's keep doing just, it. <laughs> sounds fun for the first time. Let's do it again. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> What's better than resurrecting a dead once, twice? Did you Did you hear about the guy who, uh, who for some ungodly reason, he just had to go to a like an island that had cannibals on it, and like go meet them for some reason like they threatened to, to kill him and eat him what or they didn't threaten to eat him they threatened to kill him oh i think i might have heard this and and he is like yo I not trust so. and then he went over there and fucking died oh was it called like snake island or something like that <laughs> uh i think so hold on let me, let me search it yeah, it was like the 
Oh my god. It's the last uh, Native American that... island or something like that. Um, hold on. I think it's called like Snake Island or something like that. Ah, uh, yeah, here we go. Here, U.S. man killed by tribe after ignoring ban on visiting. Yeah. Where is it? An American who ignored laws preventing outsiders from visiting an island where the indigenous people are protected has been killed by its inhabitants. Darn. I'm trying to find the island, though. I think it's called, like, Snake Island. I'm not sure. Oh, shit. John Allen Chow is said to have died in a hail of arrows as he set foot on a northern sentinel island part of Indian controlled at Andaman Islands of Bay of Bengal. Oh, okay. It was in the Bay of Bengal. So Bengal was the island, and then like the it, there was a bay. And like the oh, those guys like have guns there because of people who oh. tried to. I don't know. I mean, to be well, it said he got killed in a hail of arrows, so that wouldn't really make any sense. Yeah, they guns. they. I guess it just wasn't worth the. Bullets yeah, then. Uh, North Sentinel Island is about 808 miles from the Indian mainland, or 1,300 kilometers. Hey, Ferb, I know what we're going to do today. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to travel 1,300 okay, kilometers. Okay. Every African face for Ferb. Was... Hold on. I'm going to... So, so I, just, I just thought of a conspiracy theory. So planes don't actually fly. They, fl they float. Float. All right, yeah. look at the image I just sent, and and I want you to look at. Uh, does it look like a dog with sunglasses? Hold up, I need to peep this out. <laughs> What's up? Uh, like a dog with like flower uh, with flowers around its head. Yeah. All right, now I want you to uh, look down on the left, and you can see his eyes and nose. <laughs> well, I, I saw his eyes and nose before. Oh well, now it looks like a dog. It doesn't look like a dog. It looks, it like, looks a, like a dog. It looks like a a precious young. African American. No, he's a cannibal. Shut up. You're right. Yeah. Get rid of him. He's a danger to society. Yeah. Even you ever seen he... the Green? You ever seen the Green Inferno? No. You know that that movie about basically the same situation. Keep in mind, where these guys they just they just had to go to this cannibal island and go save these people or go introduce them to whatever. Wait, I think I think I did hear I. I think I did see that movie. Yeah. And it was like a it was like a group of people. Awesome. It was like five people and then like three got eaten alive. Awesome. Well no, the one got killed. Was it one of those types of movies? Yeah. Was it one of those types of movies like uh the Blair Witch Project? Oh, actually I haven't seen the Blair Witch Project. Yeah, but you know what kind of movies I'm talking well, about yeah. where they have the people is it one of those kind of movies? Um, I believe so. Because I think I did see it. Washington yeah. and Jefferson. I'm opening my mail. Office of admission. Did uh, John Wilkes Booth actually kill Abraham Lincoln? Or was it JFK? Ooh. Uh, <laughs> Ooh. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure that theory is literally impossible unless JFK is some kind of omnipotent god. Yeah. Um, 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 Clearly he is. He's has. a time traveler, so he could do whatever he wants. Oh, oh. Right, because he goes to parallel universes. Shit, my bad. Shit. Yeah. That's how he that's how he raises the in the next universe over. <laughs> JFK <laughs> takes over the next universe conspiracy <laughs> confirmed. God damn. Dude. He, he's just he's a god. god. Alright, do you guys remember the uh, the I mean, like, conspiracy theory? Oh my god. Uh yeah, that was, that's a while ago, yeah, was wasn't it? Really or is it still yeah, a huge meme? Yeah, like every time somebody <laughs> creates like a conspiracy theory, they say at the end, Illuminati confirmed. Illuminati confirmed, yeah, really. <laughs> yeah. I remember hearing that all the time. Dude, it was so annoying. <laughs> they would play the well, the one theme song. It was like the... Yeah, from the X-Files. Yeah, the X-Files theme song. Do, okay. do, 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 do. So, <laughs> So Illuminati is is derived from the word it's it's it's, it's uh, derived from the Latin word Illuminatus. Re it means revealed or enlightened. Not the enlightened. These and it happened, and it was like, and it was it's created in like the 15th century. So like the the 1490s, pretty much. That's what it was like. I think it was like 1492. 
I, I don't know. I don't know time. Time is relative. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't exist. <laughs> oh, shit. I think I heard something like uh, the Founding Fathers actually found the Illuminati. Oh, shit. George Washington Minus created the Illuminati. George Washington is Illuminati. Dude, <laughs> Illuminati confirmed. So it seems as though Illuminati is like ranged from all over the world, from like Egypt, Germany, it's the Spaniards, France. Spaniards. Got the Spaniards. Goddamn Spaniards. There was some messes. Jesus! Oh, I oh shit! Jesus Christ! Whoa! Jesus created the Illuminati. Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Uh, <laughs> geez, the German after he's just a, a teenager and soon achieved renown as prophet and mystic who conversed. So a, a a girl that was from Italy claimed that she could converse directly with Jesus Christ and the Virgin Mary. Ah. Uh, uh. And what happened? We'll find out. Ferdinand of Aragon, I think he was the king or the emperor, or whatever the fuck, and the ruler of Span Spain, invited her to his court and became convinced of the sincerity of her visions. The Dominicans appealed to Pope Julius II for guidance, and a series of trials were convened under the auspices of an, of the Inquisition. Her patrons, which by then included not only Ferdinand but also Francisco Cardinal Gimenez de Senarios. And the Duke of Alba ensured that no decision was taken against her and she was cleared. So the Pope confirmed that she could do that. She darn. She could speak with the gods. She could speak with no Jesus isn't a god. He's demigod. The son of God. Demigod. He's like a dem he's like a demigod. A demigod. Demigod. Uh, well yeah, but that's in the different Oh yeah, religion. my mistake. My mistake. Yeah, we're we're yeah. like the new part of <laughs> We're making a new Illuminati. Oh, it's gonna be. It's gonna call it. It's gonna be called Illuminati Two. I like it. Coming this summer, <laughs> Illuminati Two. I so, can converse uh, directly with uh, Shrek. <laughs> I'm talking to the Shrek voice actor. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you know me, Swamp. I just found this one. Out not that a while ago, there was this like whole meme with Garfield <laughs> where he was just like an <laughs> I think I heard about that an Eldred yeah he's like an Eldred horror abomination god, oh, god. thing. <laughs> so so that means that he's actually Ooh, the true god um, Garfield. Dude, Mondays <laughs> is a bad day confirmed. Garfield is god. Garfield reveals to John that he is a god. <laughs> Garfield, otherwise known by fans as Gorefield, Gorefield, is a monstrous, gluttonous maniac and the main antagonist of the Gorefield images. Oh, from r slash I'm sorry, John. So, John, I require <laughs> lasagna. Send me the offering of lasagna. He hates Mondays, but he was the one who invented them to appear as though he didn't create them. Ooh. <laughs> it all makes sense. I confirm. <laughs> Yeah, goddamn. We we should make a religion based Garfield's on that. Viking incarnation snaps them out of their. And in... what the fuck does Ennui mean? I don't know. What does that even mean? <laughs> a I feeling don't know. of listlessness and dissatisfaction arising from a lack of occupation or excitement. Oh, it's also a, it's all it's also a, a total electric. drama island character. Total drama island character. <laughs> <laughs> well, total drama is actually a religion. Uh, and snaps out of the, uh, snaps them out of their their listlessness after he rediscovers the petrified weasel of Booga, the clan's patron god. It restores their spirits, causing them to revert to their Viking selves and proceed to run off of the Arctic Circle. Oh my goodness, this is like this is a lot of reading on the Wikipedia page. I think we just jumped down a rabbit yeah. hole. In the beginning. Uh, written by okay, whatever. In the beginning, the cat is created. The manner of the cat's creation with a higher being dictating instructions to his staff and language used by the staff while designing the cat is strongly similar to the manner which products are. It's just boring shit. Okay, Garfield is created by a stick. <laughs> He's created by a, a stick. A, a stick. very, a very good stick. Garfield is created by. Was this a holy stick? Cave Cat. In the Stone Age, the first cat emerges from the sea and is domesticated. Cave Cat also meets his end when the vaguely reptilian giant dog 
who resembles Odie. <laughs> Attempts to play fetch with Cave Cat, throwing a tree at him and unintentionally crushing him. Garfield says that he formed many of his likes and dislikes, with one dislike being his rock bed and his like being the pterodactyl drumsticks. The pterodactyl drumsticks? <laughs> pterodactyl drumsticks. The Vikings. A group of Vikings from the year 984, including Garfield the Orange, frozen in an iceberg for thousands of years, thaw out and wake up in an especially warm and lovely spring day of 1984. Oh my goodness. It, you know you know who wrote a book called 1984? George Orwell. It was Ooh. about it was about Big Brother taking over the world. Oh my goodness. Big Brother is watching Garfield. Is Garfield it's is Big Garfield. Brother is what we're saying. Uh... Garfield is the government. <laughs> Damn, and this is some woke pillage. knowledge right here. He attempts to pillage St. Paul. Hey, you know who owns the government? Yeah. They are forced to adapt it's to all the connected. modern era after yeah. a notable lack of success with tradition, Viking activities, and common how modern American society is barbaric. That's ironic. One with defend one which defended <laughs> defended itself against the pillaging as well as snapping the bra of Bosomi, a female Viking, Helga, defeated. Goddamn. All connected. <laughs> they succeed in securing employment Goddamn. and a house, but lose their proud spirits in process. Damn. Well. Garfield's Viking incarnation snaps them out of their listlessness after he discovered petrified weasel of Booga. Booga Booga. Do, 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 do. Uh, okay, so they become they become Vikings again after they discover Booga Ooga. Booga Ooga. Oh shit! Hard boiled detectives Sam. Oh wait, wait, Sam, like I don't know, I don't know who the fuck Sam is. Am I am? Sam investigates <laughs> the suspicious death of a priest in segment reminiscent of a classic noir fiction. Uh, okay, Garfield killed the priest Lamel. Lamel, get nated. Easy claps. <laughs> All right. So, oh, ooh, easy McGrady. That's a good one. At the secret ooh. government facility lab specimen, 19 Garfield receives an, un- an unusual injection followed by his escape from the military base. After swimming across the river, the serum has some unusual effects, causing 19 GB to become a dog. Fortunately for 19 GB, he became the same breed of dog the lab sent out to find him, allowing him to blend in with search dogs, pursuing soldiers, and. Call out the search levels of the reader. Do, 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 do. Odie is a fucking god, I guess, or whatever. Whoa. The government created Odie. Whoa. Shaggy versus Odie? Oh, shit. Dude. <laughs> Present day Garfield meets Lasagna, John, and Odie. This segment retcons the character's beginnings. Garfield notes that his current life is currently falling short of his expectations. God damn. <laughs> like swing oh, scoop. And oh, and then and then Garfield has an insane run-in with an incredibly huge galactic war fleet from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Damn, John, these edibles ain't shit. Why? <laughs> Two thousand BC was a good year to be a cat in Egypt. Uh, all for the good old days in ancient Egypt, the Pharaoh's sacred cat discovers what happens to him if the Pharaoh dies. King Cat must try to defend the king from his evil bro. It's all connected. This is the first segment induced in this. It's all connected. Cast were worshipped ancient Egypt. Yeah, okay, so all I'm hearing is Garfield has been alive for. Well, nobody yeah. killed millennia. Garfield except Garfield. No, no, no! He just keeps on reincarnating every time he does. Hey, Garfield is just God. <laughs> and then eventually, after after re- getting reincarnated so many times, he just becomes a god that loves. He hates um, Mondays and loves <laughs> lasagna. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, God that loves I love lasagna. Everyone loves like lasagna. lasagna. What's wrong with you? Yeah, disgusting. Well, I don't like meat in my lasagna. Hey, and why? I figured out why that lasagna at the school tasted so terrible. It didn't why? have Garfield's blessing. That's it was why. Like a tuna lasagna. No, there was, was no like tuna, tuna lasagna. And it was really it just... disgusting. No, but there is. There was. That's why I had a fishy taste to it. Oh, uh, I, I did not. You don't put fish in lasagna. Well, yeah, everyone should know that. I mean, like, it's just logic. Well, obviously, people that made lasagna didn't know that. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Fish in lasagna, those... Disappointing. Very disappointing. They did not find... They did not follow uh, Garfield's will. We gotta <laughs> crucify him. 
We did not. You're absolutely right. You, you know what I think? I think we should all just like give up on being atheists and worshiping <laughs> God and like, worship the yeah. orange cat. <laughs> And then hopefully, Just imagine we, we may going not know, into like a uh, church and be like, but, "Yo, you know, you, you worship this god? Nah, I got Garfield on my side, boy." No, imagine, imagine, imagine if there, if, if Garfield worshippers became like Jehovah's Witnesses, like they knock on their door and you're like, "Have you heard about our wonderful cat god Garfield?" And then you say no, and then like well, all of a sudden they're inside text. your house and say, "It's just a recipe on how to make a lasagna." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and anyone who eats it dies except Garfield. They, they like, would do. They, if they try to eat it, it like melts their. They mouth would turn into them. lasagna. They, yeah, they, they themselves <laughs> turn into lasagna, and that is the true recipe for oh Garfield lasagna. Or <laughs> the lasagna. lasagna. The lasagna become one with lasagna. <laughs> become one with. Then step three, become one with Garfield. Ascend. Ascend. <laughs> Ascend. <laughs> so I guess that would make Garfield's stomach. Yes, nice. you of go course. to Garfield's stomach. Darn. Makes sense. <laughs> have you seen the video Garfield becomes a god in Wars? I, I have seen it. I have not. I haven't seen it in a long time. <laughs> It's very funny. Lazaga. <laughs> Lazaga. Bitch Lazaga. Lazaga. Oh, was Bitch Lasagna a PewDiePie song? Or was it a Garfield song? Yeah. I haven't masturbated today. I'm um, questionable? Today. Okay. <laughs> That's very questionable. His mom just walks Come in. Come on. I'm saying that. Nah. What? <laughs> Not really, no. Uh, actually, you just yeah, asked for fries. fries. You didn't really ask good. for lasagna. And uh, get the Arby's ones and put them in the air fryer. Thank you. Bro, you know you could have just turned your mic off. Disappointed. That was embarrassing. You didn't ask for no. lasagna. I'm half the oh <laughs> my mistake. I'll baptize we don't you. have we don't we don't have the stuff for lasagna, to be fair. Yeah, Garfield. Because I didn't ask for lasagna, our um, our god Garfield is, Let me is get you so angry on a Monday. That he's going to turn you into lasagna. <laughs> no badass. <laughs> yeah, my birthday's on Monday. It's all, you don't it's have all his connected blessings. to these Mondays. Oh, damn! <laughs> Goddamn! <laughs> Do you think people? It's all connected. It's all connected. What if? <laughs> what if John? The universe is my lasagna. John. What if John is JFK? Ooh. <laughs> J. Wait a minute. John JFK. It's I'm internal con- John. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's- John! Is oh, it- John is JFK. And and that's that's why that's why it's why John is able to say shit. John. <laughs> because he's secret. And Garfield won't kill John because John can travel across the universe and destroy all communism. And it just so happens that Garfield will also destroy communism. <laughs> So we'd be like wiping out an ally. He, he secretly, it all he's secretly as now. powerful as Garfield. And and the reason the reason oh, why he hates makes sense. Really <laughs> Dude, oh, we're this... we're making money moves. We're getting her done. Of course. Yeah, right here, John. John, I'll keep you safe. Garfield showing twisted possessiveness Damn. towards John when he imprisons him. <laughs> John is just built heart. different. See, he won't kill John. His his goals are killing Odie, killing Liz, kill normal, kill John, or merge. Well, Garfield <laughs> merges with JFK. Unknown if he succeeds or fails. Oh my goodness, it all makes sense. Regeneration, shape shifting, superhuman strength, false fangs, transformation, atomical durability, transmutation, mon- monstruosity. I don't even know if Shaggy. Flight. I don't know if Shaggy it could just be. Makes sense. Uh, Garfield. 
<laughs> oh shit, Garfield's an SCP. <laughs> Garfield's an SCP, real shit. Jesus. Makes sense. Oh, that's John is is. JFK. Exactly. It's all making sense. What what else would he be? Just a regular guy? Nah, John's different. Hold up. Yeah, look at at the image. Freak is this. John, I need more lasagna. It's it's Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> did did yeah. you send a picture of that? <laughs> oh my god! Unbelievable. Gosh. Oh, this is a, this is a different backstory for your uh, Garfield. Garfield turned demonic when a hostile parasite infected him and took over his body, resulting yeah. in him killing Odie just to show how sadistic and barbaric he is. John fearfully hides behind a TV. While Garfield roams around trying to find him, tauntingly telling him that he could smell him. Meanwhile, Liz is waiting for John when Garfield knows his only teleports right at her location and it kills her too. <laughs> Mustering whatever courage he has, John comes in and shoots Garfield in the eye with a shotgun, but Garfield taunts him saying that bullets won't kill him. John, hopeless in stopping Garfield, then attempts to save Arlene, Garfield's canon girlfriend, and goes with the plan to save her. However, he soon runs right into Garfield in the basement, who bites and gruesomely takes his right hand off. That was... Hold on. Takes his hand right off of his wrist socket. Desperate, John sets fire to one of the furnaces and causes an explosion that destroys his house. Unfortunately, Garfield is still alive. John is then presumably killed by Garfield. However, after the explosion, it is revealed that John is indeed alive. Garfield tells John that he will keep him safe, and that John completes him. He then grows wings and um, flies off to an unknown... Well, <laughs> makes sense... It all makes sense. John is actually secretly an SCP doctor. Crimes, <laughs> cannibalism, <laughs> crimes, psychological warfare, demonic predator. The, the fact that we're talking about an orange cat <laughs> just makes it funnier. All right, all right. So because I removed Seth from the group because he never eat because he no showed like three He's times Catherine. and he said he was gonna make it this time, I I still. I still, uh, I, yeah. Well, no, I think he could have shown. I just, I he's just, a, he's an atheist. He doesn't yeah. believe in Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Someone's calling me. Dang, he's calling people in the middle of. Dang, dang calling people. Hello? In the snow? middle of the podcast, disgusting. <laughs> Freaking simp. <laughs> oh, was that sneeze? Corona, corona, huh? <laughs> Isn't it? Hey, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. It was a mix of everything. Are right, you getting crucified? Maybe. So, from talking about John F. Kennedy. They're talking about uh, how Garfield no. is that, the one John true god. <laughs> is John F. Kennedy? But who is yeah. Odie? Yeah, of course, Ooh. of course. Ooh, is Odie actually who Odie? Is Odie, or is Odie Hitler? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Ooh. Yeah, but then who is Liz? <laughs> she doesn't get any. She, is. she doesn't get a backstory. There, she doesn't get any backstory. She's a psychic. She's just there. Makes sense. Yeah, of course. Or in the back. <laughs> the universe oh, is my lasagna, John. That, did you have to get? Did you get called from Sir, Grubhub? Your Grubhub? Oh, yeah. did they give you? Did they give you deals that make you boogie? <laughs> of course. Bam, I was makes sense. That's why I had to get off the mic. <laughs> Maybe Grubhub somehow linked to Garfield. Of course, it all know. makes sense. It's all connected. Oh. See, see, Grubhub is actually in the same universe no. as Odie owns Garfield. Grubhub. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
Maybe he wants to like Garfield as a villain. It all makes sense. Oh. He wants all the lasagna to himself. Yeah, I, there's another. There's another quote from uh, Garfield. John, John, the world is going to end. John, Garfield's insane threat about the end of the world if he doesn't get a lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Gar- anytime, any, anytime Garfield doesn't get a lasagna, he threatens John that he's going to end the world. <laughs> <laughs> These animals ain't shit, John. <laughs> but who is Liz, though? I think she's a Karen. Yeah, who is Liz? Um, this is Liz Karen. Is Monica. <laughs> no. To be fair, he did. She, he did kill Liz. He did kill her. By by instantly teleporting at her exact location. Fucking Slenderman looking ass. <laughs> well, no, like, okay, what, what, he killed her because he teleported inside to her exact location. Inside of her? Location. He teleported inside of her. Bruh. And, and like, implode, made her, like, implode or explode or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Implode, <laughs> explode. What, what's your opinion? <laughs> He's edible saying shit, man. Uh. Denial. So Odie owns Scrub Hub. Damn. John is JFK. And Garfield's just yes. some divine being. <laughs> Anything else? Um, Nimble, Nimble. Right? Is that his name? What? What is he? What is he? Nimble. I think that's the cat's name. Oh, it's oh yeah, normal. What, what's he? Nor- how is he part of this? Maybe, maybe, maybe he looks maybe like normal. exactly <laughs> like uh, Garfield. <laughs> you know, no, he's he's like your he's like your typical like cat. So he's like he represents normality, and and then Garfield is like a. Uh, What's it called? He's not. He's not nervous. Well, yeah, his Garfield he, split he, personality. No, therefore, ooh. Hey, that, no, I, that, ooh, that could make sense. Yeah, yeah. it makes ooh. sense. That does, doesn't make sense. <laughs> Jesus. Damn, I should be hitting different. God damn. <laughs> it really is. What are you drinking? Nothing. I was just making that noise because of how yeah, he is kind of thick. Hot he is kind of thick. No cap. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. More killed <laughs> attempts to enter your home. ASMR roleplay. Bro, a- ASMR is just wacky. Barfield ASMR. That, that's my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Elder Tor Garfield ASMR. Oh shit! Oh, there's apparently a video about what? Oh, it's like 13 minutes long. Yeah, that's a lot. Way of time. too much. We got, work. we got time to talk about Garfield. He's that bullshit, oh, man. Look at, it's like a video game. Maybe, maybe it is an actual video game. Um, well, you see, the problem is that we don't know what. Oh no! It's an animation. It's in an animation and like this and like a video game esque. Like EP like, suck. I don't know. Like the way it was made. No. God damn. I know. Wait, who created God Garfield? Eyes, John. <laughs> That's the real question. Who is the creator? Who? Oh, you know who I think it Ooh. is. Whoa! Right now, what if it's normal? Well, a minute. Normal was the bad guy all along. 
Well, well, no, but maybe, maybe it's because maybe, maybe Garfield actually hates his existence. Therefore, he despises Nermal. Nermal wants to rule the world, that so does make he sense. resurrected He'll Garfield. Or he summoned no, Garfield. Let's say that. Well. Created him. <laughs> he summoned. Well, if, that, if he summoned Garfield, then well, that would mean that would Garfield imply that is Garfield is already alive. Oh, well, then. Hmm. Well, mm. no, because he he says the universe is mm. lasagna, so that doesn't make any sense. Mm. We literally just linked the poll. We've been talking about this for forty minutes. We first talked about JFK. How? We, then we went to Garfield. Yeah. Well, it's, well, it's no, all one, it all fits it in. All it all in. it all links together. Yeah. Every, John John is JFK. We we live in the yeah, same timeline cool. as Garfield. <laughs> Wait a minute. So you're telling me that Garfield secretly yeah. killed JFK? Uh, JFK killed JFK. The evil version of JFK. <laughs> yeah, JFK killed JFK. That's how that works. Yeah, that makes sense. Mountain... <laughs> oh yeah, but what about Mountain Dew Fresh? Okay. Is actually a JFK's hmm. neighbor that he actually hated. Hmm. It was. Uh, it all makes sense. Liz, Whoa! Liz is is Jake? Whoa! Hey, <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> Liz, Liz is Whoa. is the embodiment of of Karen. <laughs> so he's also JFK's neighbor, or she is. Yeah. It, it all, I feel like we get fit the side of the sacred good. text. <laughs> yeah, it has to be yeah, yeah. What if, what if it that means it means they're trying to cover up something. That means it's a true. Yeah, but they're definitely trying to cover I up. See. Yeah, so if they get rid of it. Then That's it's canon. canon <laughs> it's canon. It's freaking canon. <laughs> it's all. It all makes sense now. Of course. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So how long has that been? Yeah, like around more, 47 minutes. Almost 50 now? Yeah. You think it's time you know to go end, uh, bye bye it? time? That's just a theory. Uh, you know, Matt guy. Oh, fine. Oh. Fine. No, no we don't want to copy Yeah, you don't want to copy him. I'll, I'll do the outro. <clears throat> Hopefully, we were able to raise your eyebrows about how Garfield is actually the one true god. <laughs> JFK killed JFK, and John is actually JFK. Liz is the embodiment of Karen, which is why Garfield killed her. <laughs> Odie is the creator and owner of Grubhub, and that's why he decided to kill Odie as well. And and John kills commies. And also can travel to different universes. That's why he gets so well along with Garfield. And lasagna is Gar is, is the universe, according to Garfield. It all it all makes sense. You know, now that we have said it, it kind of just sounds like we <laughs> smoke crack. Okay. For like forty minutes. <laughs> but that that is just a. Uh, that's just how reality is, you know? If you don't believe it... Guys, <laughs> 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 next, next Monday. <laughs> Bro, what happens if someone dies next Monday we and they blame the podcast for it? <laughs> Damn atheists. It's their own fault for not believing in the religion. <laughs> it's like uh, next Monday, you see a Reddit post about uh, Garfield's uh, god. <laughs> uh, yeah, we just form a cult. Gorefield. <laughs> form the, Gar the Gorefield cult. <laughs> so I'm just gonna end it abruptly.